Continuing to track showers and thunderstorms moving across the area. Most of them are non severe, but uh, we do have just one single warning that's in place right now. That's well to our south and is on the very southern tip there of uh, Hart County. That'll continue to a race off to the southeast, though. The wider view here showing us that that main line has really started to break up and has weakened as it continues to move off to the southeast. You can see just what it did around the Louisville Metro, where it's really just bringing us some stronger winds, maybe lighting up the sky a little bit with some lightning and overall it's going to stay below severe criteria. So good news there. Zooming in a little bit closer across Shelbyville, perhaps some heavier rain as it continues to move on uh, out of your area. Fern Creek also getting a good dose of moisture as basically all of us have been doing pretty much all day long. So farther onto the south where I showed you, we did have that one sole warning, which actually is just outside of our WHAS 11 viewing area, but nonetheless, it's in Barron County, right over Glasgow, Kentucky until five o'clock. So about 10 more minutes on that warning, but it's simply because of the strong wind that these storms have been bringing and could continue to bring. Uh, overall, though, we do have this uh, severe thunderstorm watch that remains in effect until eight o'clock tonight. However, I do think we're going to start to chop these cities off of here over the course of the evening. So I'd probably see those, uh, Eric can expect to see those expire here uh, in the next half hour or so as most of those storms have already cleared the area here. Going into the next couple of hours, we'll kind of see more of the same, not expecting severe weather after that leading edge moves on out, but probably just some lingering rainfall and at times some sporadic lightning. So still want to make sure that you're being weather aware. We'll have plenty of dry time overnight, but we're also going to see a couple more scattered cells try to fire on up after midnight tonight. It's going to keep the cloud cover around and keep our temperatures quite mild, waking up tomorrow morning uh, right around 7 70 degrees. However, tomorrow we also have another round of showers and storms to contend with, probably after about 1 o'clock, lasting until 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. They're going to propagate off from the northwest to the southeast, much like what we're seeing out there now. It does look like your Friday night plans are going to be just fine, though, because that main line should be out of here at this point. Saturday, we wake up. We do it all over again. It's just the pattern that we've been in here lately. For tomorrow, though, we again have another chance of seeing these storms become strong to severe with heavy rain, hail, and gusty wind being those main threats. So temperatures outside right now, we are hovering around 80 degrees at the airport, but then a lot of variety in these other temperatures as we have 60s going in southern Indiana. So some rain cooled air for us, at least uh, as those thunderstorms do continue to push off to the southeast. Temperatures on your Friday and Saturday, really hot. We're in the the lower 90s cooling off just a little bit for the Monday middle 80s and then uh, 4th of July looking like one of the only dry days of the next seven guys.